Hey guys, welcome to the 24th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to return variables. Now, I know that there's definitely a better way to say that, but I don't know what it is. So, let's just get started. All you're really going to need for this tutorial is a button. So, just double click on the button. Alright. Now, this is very similar to the voids tutorial. So, if you haven't seen that one yet, just um, make sure you watch that. I have all these C Sharp tutorials in a. Um, in a playlist so you should be able to find it pretty easily all right so now what we're going to do is we're just going to create an integer so we're going to do int and then we can call it anything we'd like um, i'm going to call it addition because that's what our integer is going to be doing and we're going to do int a int b all right and by now this looks pretty similar to um uh the void tutorial so all right now um we have an error right here and it says not all code paths return a value so what that means is um, we have we're not returning a value so this int addition is not set to anything so in order to set it to something you just type return and then whatever we want to set it to like we could have it return nine and then every time you called this like int addition it would just always be equal to nine but since we have int a and int b here we might as well make use of them so what we're going to do is we're going to do a plus b so now whenever we call it so let's have a message box show um we're gonna do addition click on addition and then int a i'll make it one and then b i'll make it two so i'll we'll just make this that two strings since it is an integer so what this will do is we'll take one and two and add them together because one is a and two is b so let's do a plus b or one plus two so we should get a message box that says three well, so I'm click this, you should get my spark says three. Alright, now you can obviously do this with any other um, type of variable. So I'll just do it with a string. So now we should get an error because it cannot convert int to string. So all every time when you return something, it has to be like the same type of variable as this. So you can't return an integer when this is a string. So all you have to do here is just put two parentheses around a plus b and then do that to string. Now we don't need the two string up here because it is now a string. So we should get three in the message box again. Just yeah, all right. You can do this with bools or anything else, and you can obviously do this with more than one line of code right here. So if you want to do like uh, your code, I don't know what you want to have your code do, but you can have it up here, and then you can have it return something different. Like if you wanted to make like like I don't know if you want to make like an integer called like int return or no int to return equals, I don't know, say five. Then when we go down here, all we have to do is we can just do to return dot to string. Now it will be five when we call it. So we should get a message box that says five now. Yep. All right. So uh, that was pretty quick for this tutorial. But um, if you have any questions, just leave a Actually, no, AIM me. Um, my AIM is ITZ Adam 5. I'll have a little thing up here, like always. So, uh, yeah, see you guys.